Zero K fans, and welcome to Nanolades at Dawn. I'm your host, Chad, if you're a 333, with another set of exhibition matches. Today, we're starting out with a match between Google Frog and 400 on Badlands. So, not much to say about that. Badlands is a pretty typical map. Actually, no, it's not typical. It's an old map, so I'm sure people have played it, rather familiar with it, but it's not that typical. All these cliffs, that's not normal. Anyway, 400 going for the Clokybot Factory, while Google Frog going for Jumpbot Factory, which I find interesting because Jumpbot on. Okay, these aren't really cliffs. They're more just ridges. And on cliffs, jump bots do really well. On ridges, I mean, they can jump up and down them, so that's something. But I don't really think that's going to be part of it. I think Google Frog went for that for the units. And starting out with early pyro, so... It's not a terrible choice. Jump bot's not a bad choice, but it's not a choice I've really seen used on this map much. Normally you see either spiders or shield bots, occasionally cloaky bots. And 400 with a warrior opening, not even bothering with opening glaives, which kind of makes sense. I mean, if you're fighting anything that would be decent on the hills, especially if you're fighting against shields or something, it's just easier not to bother with glaives going uphill. And it looks like these are not going to see each other. Nope, neither neither player knows what the other is up to quite yet. Although I think 400 does not have radar. Nope, never mind. 400 just scouting out, just trying to see what's being set up, what Google Frog has but doesn't actually have a huge amount of knowledge of what's going on for Google Frog's factory choices and other way around as well. Although, after those early warriors, they are actually going for a bit of extra rating for scouting, or glaives for scouting, which I find... I mean, I find early warrior interesting. That was something that came up a while ago, but hasn't really been used much. It's not a bad early assault force. It's just a little bit expensive and a little slow. But on a map like this, who cares? This is a tiny map. It doesn't really matter how slow it is. And, oh, are we going to have a battle? No, we're not going to have a battle, but we are going to have a slight assault here, and the defender will be up just in time. Won't be able to really stop the warrior much. The warrior is actually going to be able to... Nah, it'll die. The commander is going to take care of it. Oh, that warrior. If you had a friend, the commander would be dead. Like, seriously, if both those warriors were right there, this commander would be done. He'd be dead. There'd be nothing left of it. Although, at the same time, that was a nice distraction. Got rid of a defender. Scouted things out of it, and 400 is able to get some harassment, both on the north side, thanks to this Glaive, which is unfortunately not able to finish its job. South side Glaive getting a little bit of cold feet as a result of his partner being burned to pieces. Well, actually, melted into slag would be a better way of putting it, but yeah, that that's a little intimidating. I can kind of see why you might be a little bit hesitant to move forward there. But seriously, though, 400 is so close to being able to kill that commander. If they move in another warrior... It's a little risky, but they might be able to... Except at this point, all they have is a wind generator. Oh, that's unfortunate. And the warrior here being cautious, but unfortunately now having to deal with moderators. And at this point, more warriors coming up for 400, so Google Frog has perfectly countered this. 400 is playing right into Google Frog's strategy, and these warriors have no chance. And a slight attempt by the Pyro here to do some damage, but 400 won't be too annoyed by that. However, the warrior to the north, that is a problem. So at this point, 400 pretty well set up for just not having to worry about anything. I mean, they did they did lose some units, but that all that pressure, all that pressure has put them into a bit of an advantage economically. And of course, there's quite a bit of reclaim too. Mind you, both sides kind of have it, but still, 400's been applying all that pressure just as a way of getting around to the rest of the map. So I think 400, they're in a very healthy position. Wow, they're in a very healthy position. 23 metal per second... Okay, some of that's reclaim. It's still 18 metal per second without reclaim compared to 10 metal per second. Google Frog got really pushed back as a result of all that raiding. They didn't lose any units. They hardly lost any of their of their metal extractors, but they they had to focus a bit more on expensive moderators. I mean, 240 metal. That's okay compared to a freaker. It's not that expensive, but compared to metal extractors, I mean, that's three metal extractors right there. I mean, they haven't died, but they also haven't really been used. And Google Frog hasn't been able to take the rest of the map. I mean, moving out is a little bit difficult. Not my, right now, it's not a problem. Right now, actually, Google Frog might be able to get some revenge. There isn't really a whole lot here. And this, oh, well, this Conjurer's done. That's a little unfortunate for you, Conjurer. But you did good work. Problem, of course, is this northwest corner. The northwest corner is going to be wrecked very shortly. 400 able to get the southeast, though. But yeah, 400... Really pushing that economy. Now, what are they going to do from here? They aren't really building anything. Their, their economy is actually kind of going to waste. They don't have enough energy. They aren't actually producing anything. And they aren't putting this on priority either, so I'm not sure what their plan is. More warriors. That seems to be, that seems to be about it. And it looks like the warrior actually... Oh, are they aware of this? Are they doing this intentionally? I don't think so. The warrior's just on the right side of this whole thing. 
and actually able to kill a mod raider thanks to the ridge, although it's gonna get end up going down, unfortunately for it. It can only take one mod raider shot before dying, so it needed to wait to regenerate a little bit before moving forward. But that still went pretty well. I mean, overall, it got rid of a mod raider for basically, well, basically for a warrior. That was about even. Actually, oh, these are right here. They could reclaim all the reclaim, all the 150-ish metal of reclaim. I mean, that has been 400's, well, part of 400's economy. I mean, 400 has actually largely had an economy built around just having more metal extractors than their opponent. But yeah. And re... okay. How did that work? Wait, 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 wait. No, that doesn't make sense. Oh, Google Frog must have stopped building that then. Because that's 10 build power. That can't reclaim from 12. Oh, regardless, 400 now finally taking a bit of damage, but not actually losing all that much, and... Okay, at this point, these these conjurers are dead. They have to get... Well, they're dead. I don't know why they didn't get out of there, but they had to. 400, however, now tr starting to fall behind economically a little bit, but they've been so far ahead. The only thing that's been holding them back has been production and unit choice. I mean, the thing is, Google Frog is well aware that they're basically fighting exclusively an army of warriors, except for, like, the one Rocco here. But pretty much just warriors, so as long as they have moderators, they're fine. Mind you, they only have the one and one in production, so there is still a bit of a chance. There's some timing for 400 to actually deal some meaningful damage with the warriors, but they have to hurry. If 400 does not attack basically... Okay, it's too late. Basically two minutes ago, but that's not an option, so never mind. Yeah, that's not going to work out too well. A little unfortunate, but oh well. Why aren't you... Okay, I guess 400 figures this stinger won't work. Makes sense. So we have defense wars. Ridge side defense wars. I mean, 400 really wants to hold on to this over here in the southeast. If they lose that, that's a big chunk of their economy. They've lost the northwest pretty convincingly, although they are managing to take it back. But they did lose a lot of metal extractors on the northern side, which they are rebuilding. But still, they did lose them. And while Google Frog is still behind economically, it's... Not like it's hard for harassment to happen, and a lot of harassment has happened. I mean, a lot of this this map used to be primarily owned by 400, and now 400 is almost relying entirely on the southeast and overdrive. And they do have a decent overdrive grid, but they are still relying on that, which, if you think about it, that's dangerous. At any rate, oh, that warrior, that warrior could actually be approached. There's four, I mean, that's warriors. The moderator could be approached. I think, I don't think... Are warriors faster than mo No, warriors can't be faster than moderators. No, no, they're slightly slower than moderators. That won't work. If the moderator goes up the hill, that will be a problem. But at this point, really, if the glaives get... Yeah, the glaives... Get those glaives in, that'll work fine. So at this point, 400... I don't know, I still don't agree with their unit choices. I think that they have a decent... They have the economy. They can kind of throw that away if they have to. Although, they really need to get their caretakers going. They need to build stuff up. This is getting kind of annoying. 400 keeps forgetting to either repeat Q or keep their Qs going. And Google Frog... I uh, experimenting with an air factory, but I don't think they're going to get that. 400 could actually afford that, or could have afforded that. But for whatever reason, they weren't going for that. But yeah, they could have afforded that with all the money they had, which they were still accessing. However, at the same time, this economic advantage finally coming to fruition as the Glaives approach Google Frog's base coming in, getting rid of a few Lotuses... Actually, a load is the only one that's there. But unfortunately for them, the Freaker is causing a lot of problems. Slow Beam is a pain, but... Second wave coming in, and this, I think, will be far less effective. I mean, the Warriors kind of managing to get in a little bit closer, thanks to the Glaives. But even then, the Moderators should be able to deal with them, no problem. Some damage will be dealt. Getting rid of a couple... Actually, oh, the Freakers are gone! This would be a good opening for yet another wave. If there was a third wave coming in, I don't think there will be, though. The moderator being a little suicidal, but that's fine. It's not going to go down. No, it's just waiting for the warrior to burn down, and the warrior's dead. So, with that, 400 still once again needs to start building up more stuff here. And in the conjurers, at least. But the conjurers aren't... They're not being used to help assist. They're being used possibly for reclaim? I'm not really sure. They're not really being used at all. I mean, there's some reclaim over here, which would be nice to get. They can get the reclaim over in the northwest side of the map. 600! Yeah, okay, 700 metal. That's some good reclaim. That's that's a good, you know, 140 seconds worth of reclaim. A good minute and a half of plus 5 metal per second. So, go for it. 
on top of, of course, getting the metal extractors to get another five-ish metal per second on top of that. So, not bad. And see, so has a lot of stuff for 400 that's idling. 400 really managed to get that early economic lead, which you do need when you're fighting Google Frog, but hasn't really managed to maintain it. They haven't rebuilt any of these metal extractors, which I've mentioned before, that is a key part of this game. If you don't build metal extractors at all... Yeah, constables, not freakers. If you don't build metal extractors and then rebuild metal extractors, you're not going to go anywhere. 400's been doing a lot off reclaim, but at this point, they've just fed... A, they've just fed... How much metal have they fed? 300, 400? 700 metal! They fed 700 metal into Google Frog's base, and 400, while they are reclaiming that same amount of metal from the northwest... Still, bear in mind, they're not rebuilding their metal extractors, and Google Frog is getting more and more metal extractors for themselves. As well as getting an air factory. There we go, finally getting that built up. But that's the thing, is that Google Frog... Oh, and Strider Hub. Okay, Strider 400, that's 400's plan to end the game. Probably building Dante's. There it is, there's the Dante. But yeah, that's kind of the problem, is that at this point, 400, because they're not rebuilding metal extractors, they're falling behind farther economically than they have to. I and mean, they're not falling behind yet, they're still ahead, but they need to be far, far more ahead for how much they're losing units. I mean, they're basically using macro play to make up for micro mistakes. And that's fine. That's a perfectly valid style. In fact, the way 0k works, that's kind of the way to go in a lot of cases. It's a very strong way of doing things, but unfortunately, 400's not keeping that up. And if they just sent one of these conjurers or got another conjurer, rebuilt this metal extractor, don't... This is too late. But rebuilt this one, maybe rebuilt this one. Definitely rebuilt this one. There's a conjurer right here. Just right there. Just build it. Right away. Could happen. That's another five metal per second right there. Between the three of those metal extractors. And that would, that would give a two to one metal advantage. And as we can tell, Google Frog is still applying... Massive pressure, despite having been behind economically this entire game. Google Frog has the map. Google Frog hasn't turned it into metal extractors, but they have map control. They have almost complete map control. 400 sacrificing that for the Dante, and this is a very massive gamble, and quite honestly, it's not worth it. I mean, the extra 5 metal per second as well, for the amount of construction time required. 3,500 metal. Now, 25 metal per second compared to 30 metal per second is... That's pretty big, especially if all that is actually being invested in there. I mean, for one thing, this can't invest everything. There's potentially 64 build power. In practice, only about 10 is being used, because a bunch of it's being used for the factory, and a bunch of it's being... How much is being used here? Yeah, 12.7 over to the factory side, and... So that's the thing. 400 really could use that extra metal. Or prioritize the Dante. One of the two. I think both, really. Good tick use, though. Good, that was a nice tick. But still, prioritize the Dante or and or get more metal extractors. There's three of them you can get without really... Actually, no, this one's out of... Never mind. That was a mistake on my part. But still, there's two metal extractors. That's another three metal per second that could be taken right now. And with a little bit of extra assault force, the rest of it could be taken too. There's only one moderator, so but enough blaves should be able to get through. And finally, finally, there we go. 400s caught on that they should probably rebuild some of their metal extractors. I'm, I'm still surprised they haven't gone for the south one yet. But I'll stop harping on that. The Dante is almost finished, so 400 will be able to very shortly go for basically broke. I mean, that's gonna be... That's it. If that works, then they win. If it doesn't, they're done. They've invested everything they have into that Dante, especially losing all of these conjurers. Very nice timing, though, from Google Frog. Good assault timing, but it's like, really, that should have been rebuilt minutes ago. I'm bringing that up now, but it should have been rebuilt a long time ago. And now reclaimed, and now the factories... Well, I mean, still. I mean... Does 400 not see that there's a conjurer here? I feel like 400's not even looking. No, they're so focused on this battle up here, they aren't really focused on the fact that there's a conjurer down at the bottom that could be used for building stuff. Anyway, the Dante is done. So we'll see what happens there. No roll resistance on its path to actually attack. And there is some razors too. Google Frog went for a bit of a read on air, which was incorrect. No air is coming out from 400 and most likely would never will. Not this game, at least. And are we finally going to... Okay, it looks like we're finally maybe going to get a rebuild. I don't know. I'm, I harp on that because it's important. Oh, that Dante. I feel so bad for you, Dante. That's gotta hurt. So the Dante's in pretty good shape, but if that Dante dies, 
And one more wave of these will kill it. Oh, that air pad. That air pad needs to go. 400. Do you see that air pad? Do you see that air pad? Yes, 400 sees the air pad. All right. Air pad's gone, along with most of the ravens, too, actually. And there should be enough ravens to stop major damage. Is that enough? No, that's not enough. 33 health. That Dante needs to get out of there. One more raven will do them in, and that is coming in. That Dante needs to get out of there. 400's commander so close, but not going to be able to repair it. That Dante goes down. Oh, that was a waste. I was so close to being productive, but unfortunately, 400 didn't manage to get it in time, which that's why I go on about the rebuilds. About the metal extractors. Rebuild your bloody metal extractors when you lose them. Ah. <sighs> I mean, the thing is, Google Frog has this as map control. All this defense as map control, that's huge. And there's not much 400 can do about that, especially if they lose their commander. That's even more economy gone, as well as the forward production, of course. But it's just, Google Frog has this center of the map, and there is no reason for that to happen. 400 had the economic advantage from the very beginning, and lost it. Threw it away. Didn't just lose it. Outright threw it away, partly because, I mean... They exist a little bit, but that's not really why. They had far more metal. They had 3,000 extra metal the entire time. But they made the classic mistake of not rebuilding metal extractors after losing them. Or forgetting they had lost them. It's easy to make, I realize. I've done it myself. But it is, especially when you're playing against someone of Google Frog's caliber, you can't let that happen. Because if you do, you'll never be able to get the money back. Like, you'll never be able to have enough money to contend with them or to keep them in a disadvantageous position. Because 400 had a massive advantage at the start of the game, and really metal-wise, they always had an advantage, that this massive advantage that they ended up not really using, they ended up squandering it, unfortunately. But anyway, that was that, so I hope you enjoyed that, and that... So the next game is going to be between 400 and Gaiop. Hopefully 400 will be able to redeem themselves, we'll see on Onyx Cauldron. So stay tuned for that. It'll be up in a couple minutes.